the Scottish winger has attracted interest from Premier League clubs after impressive performances north of the border this season. And over the weekend, the Scottish Sun reported Liverpool were preparing to launch an £8 million bid for Forest services this month. But the Reds have since been slammed for even considering parting with such a measly amount for the Celtic man. And Parkhead legend John Hartson offered his thoughts on the situation in recent days, claiming £8 million would only buy Forrest's big toe in today's climate. I have to say that I laughed when I saw the figures quoted for James Forrest this weekend, he wrote in the Evening Times. Eight million pounds? That might get you his big toe. Aside from the fact that the lad himself has signed a long-term deal with Celtic, the club he has been with since primary school, the money quoted for him is laughable. We are not talking about a pup at 16 or 17. We are talking about a boy who has scored goals at international and Champions League level and who has blossomed into an winger who guarantees double-figure goals. The days of English clubs coming in and getting players for pennies are long gone. If Liverpool or anyone else want them then they will have to have very deep pockets. Fellow Celtic legend Chris Sutton also had his say on Twitter, commenting, Pounds 8 million ha 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 ha. Forrest signed a contract extension in September that keeps him in Glasgow until the summer of 2020. Liverpool have been linked with a number of new arrivals this month. But speaking recently, Jurgen Klopp seemed to suggest no deals would be completed in January. I would say no, but I don't know exactly what will happen until the transfer window closes, Klopp said when asked about his transfer plans. In the moment it looks that Joe and Joel will be back before the window closes so why should we do that? Could we get somebody just for January with the quality we need? I am not sure that is possible, 